Hello everyone and welcome to the Green Man channel, I hope you're doing good and well. So for this Tuesday's album review, I'm reviewing the second album from a band called Soul Dusk, and this is their release and thesis which came out on the 29th of February at Barnet Palm Records and the album is 9 tracks and around about 47 minutes in length. So this band started actually as a one woman project back in 2018 and since has developed into a band of six members. Um, those include Emily Highfield, who actually did an interview on over at Chill Dude on a Couch Review, so I'll drop a link to that interview in the description box. Very interesting and goes quite into the inspirations behind the album. You've also got Shane Mulholland here on vocals and guitars, Daniel Green on bass, Josh Taylor on guitars, Hayley Anderson on the violins here, and um, Frankie Demuru on the drums too. So this is definitely an album for you if you enjoy atmospheric music, um, particularly black gaze and atmospheric black metal. I can hear inspiration here and influence from the likes of Merca, Alce. Um, I would say there's a bit of Trees of Eternity in this music as well. And interestingly, um, the first album that this band did was dedicated to the memory of Alea Stonebridge, who was in Trees of Eternity. She was also in uh, featured in Swallowed Sun sometimes as well. And sadly, she passed away, I think, several years ago. And um, she was obviously an inspiration as well, I think, for, uh, for Emily Highfield. And um, I think that this is a fantastic album. I think, first of all, I just want to say how good the production is on this record. And, you know, one thing I noticed was how I really liked how all the elements are just so crisp and clear and how the reverb is layered in, how the drums are mixed in. I think a lot of atmospheric black metal albums, you know, sometimes the drums are a bit too loud for my taste and they take away from the atmosphere. But this album gets that absolutely spot on the way the mixing and production has been done. I think by Troy McCoskey is absolutely excellent and really, really good. Um, so what I also like about this album a lot is, is, you know, there's obviously, there's some really delicate acoustic guitar work throughout which I really liked and noticed just how good that was. Um, and, you know, there's great, good violin work from Hayley Anderson at times, you know, at different points in songs on this record as well. And I love the layered vocals that give this album its true sort of spiritual feel. Uh, and the way those are layered in, it just feels just like there's this huge, like, yet very clear atmosphere that you get from this record. Um, and it's very evocative, it's very ethereal, as I say, it's the kind of thing you probably just want to turn off to after a long day at work and just thoroughly enjoy and experience this album for what it is. It's a really great experience, um, which I highly recommend. It's actually pretty superb um, and I really think it's going to be one of those albums that is another one which I say is going to be high on my end of year list, but I'm saying that pretty much every review at the moment because we just keep 2024 keeps churning out just great albums again and again and here we go again with another great album uh, so let's go a bit more into the tracks to my favorite songs on this record because i haven't even started talking about those yet um i really loved crowns of esper which is the third song on this album which um i listened to it just like earlier earlier today and it just made my brain melt at just how good the song sounds the spellbinding vocals um, just great production on, on the song, just the way that those moments when I think the chorus comes in and the way the track lifts you up and just, you know, you're just so enchanting. It's just so fantastic. Um, Crystalline reminded me a lot of a track that you might get from Alice and Sylvania. You know, it's got a bit more of that blackened um, atmospheric sound, you know, the blackened metal sound. Really great, agonised, harsh vocals used in that song as well. So Crystalline, another great song to follow up, actually, I think, from Crowns of Esper. you got Sphera as well, which I thought had some more complex musical choices about that song with what they were choosing to do. Uh, and more really good violin work here from Hayley Anderson. Um, and Thesis, for some reason, I didn't quite dig as much, but I still thought it was a very good and solid title track on the album. But just because there were so many stunning tracks on this album, for some reason, that one didn't quite reach out to me quite as much as a lot of the others here. I loved, personally, Mythical Creatures. I thought that was another great song on here that, you know, it goes for a folkier sound. And I like the way this one has a bit more of a driving, strumming, acoustic sound um, that's a little bit more upbeat uh, and maybe... Happier, I say happier, the album's not necessarily super happy throughout, but it, it sort of conveys a slightly different feel and tone from the rest of the album, which is very refreshing as that song is a little bit more towards the end uh, of the record. Overall, 
this is an absolute must visit for you if you are fans of black gaze or atmospheric black metal or folk metal any of the above you're making uh you know i think this is not something to sleep on um, but that said, you may want to sleep with the album because it is that kind of beautiful, haunting, soothing sound that it has. Um, and it, it, it is absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, I can only give this record, I certainly can give it nothing less than a 9 out of 10. So I'm going to say a 9 out of 10. Uh, another super record from 2024. Another one to add to your collection. I certainly will be um, adding it to mine, I think, and maybe getting a physical copy of this as well, if I can get one. Um, yeah, another another top tier album. Um, and uh, this run, within metal at least, doesn't seem to want to stop anytime soon. Just just keep delivering these great albums to us, why not? I mean, I'm, I'm happy to keep giving nines out of tens. If the albums are nines out of tens, I'm happy to dish out the nines. More nines, I'm happy to do that if these albums continue at this level, because this is just absolutely brilliant stuff. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. As always, until next time, bye for now.